Welcome back to my show. I'm the Beard Adventurer. I'm Carissa. And on this episode, I've got one from Meddlesome out there in Memphis. This is Under Pressure. It's a vanilla porter. Under pressure. Yeah. Don't get us knocked out. Uh, five two. Okay, I'm friends with the folks over at Meddlesome, and I've had this many times. But this is unfortunately one of those. I run into a lot of problems with my regional breweries. I'll buy the beers, and I'm like, I'm going to film this. Well, I usually film on the weekends, but I buy beer during the week. And then come, like, weekend, and I'm like, oh, I drank all those. Oops. Um, so that kind of, that happens sometimes, and it's kind of unfortunate. But, you know. Now, I have had this in the can a couple times, but uh, this one, unfortunately, is the poop on draft. So if you're not in West Tennessee, you're going to have a hard time finding it. Smells good, don't it? Mm -hmm. mm. That's a what? Hey, baby. 5'2". Mm. Mm. That aftertaste, just sliding into that nice vanilla. That is delightful. Yes, I've had this many, many times. Oh yeah, it's very vanilla forward on the back end. Yes. <laughs> if that makes any sense. The back end's very vanilla-y. Mm -hmm. But it's not like sugar cookie vanilla. No, because you still have, you know, that dark beer the little bit of dryness on yeah. a lot of porters um it balances just, your aftertaste it really does. well actually because y'all know i'm all about the aftertaste um oh, oh, mm. that is a very pleasant aftertaste to me it really just cleans up the back end of kind of a of a porter mm -hmm. which some people get a little eh, on a porter's back end yeah i don't mind it but this this some makes some of them are too too much for me. I understand. Some of them are. This one makes it a much more accessible beer for a larger market. I like that a lot. Uh, I can drink more of them this uh -huh. way. It doesn't feel as heavy. It doesn't stick to you. It doesn't have that. I don't know that. I don't, some porters are just too much on the back end. That and I think that vanilla is what really balances yeah. it out. Well, this is a very light and crisp porter it where is. a lot of porters tend to be a yeah. just above a stout but right. this one has more of a it's more of a bright brown kind of yeah thing. and it's more of a bright flavor mm -hmm. uh if you take kind of a little bit of a drink and then kind of swish it around in your mouth you get a lot of tingle mm -hmm. on your tongue mm -hmm. um you do i i'm a big porter <laughs> fan though but I also like. I do. I love porters, but some of them mm. the aftertaste is a little too much for me. That is, mm, that is mm, mm, mm. this porter's rad. Um, I enjoy it all the time when I find it. Now I will admit, it it is kind of, it is the shit on draft. Mm. Uh, but in a can, it, it don't it don't upset me. No, nope. I'm all right with that. I like that a lot. Um, the bartender in me likes this because this is such an accessible mm -hmm. flavor profile that I could serve it to so many, many people. people. Um, not just the hardcore beer drinker, right. not just the dark beer drinker. Right. Uh, yeah, this is way more accessible for multiple yeah and and i could get the casual beer drinker mm -hmm. out of their shell onto something like this so mm -hmm. you know you know that person that, that person just, that's like oh i don't like those dark beers yeah i could give them a sample of this and sell four cans to them so um i'm, I'm with you and following your logic at, at you know, that five, two, five, three area, mm -hmm. you know, they're in that 5%. Yeah. So you can drink a few of them. Yeah. And it's not going to heavy and whoa. Right. So, I mean, it's bright. Yeah. It's not boozy. It's the, I like the aftertaste a lot. 
And I really do think it's that vanilla that balances out that regular flavor aftertaste. And I think not having it feel like chocolate milk yeah. or... Um, yeah, I like Although it. me saying milk does say, I mean, I'd be interested to know what this with a little bit of the lactose. In yeah, it? a little bit of the milk sugars mm -hmm. uh, might make for a very well, that interesting. That might make it really smooth. Yeah, uh, that might make it super interesting. But you know, um, I'm down for that. that uh, well, they always playing with stuff. Yeah. So I, so I mean, the the motto: never settle, always metal. I mean, I've had many mm. variations of beers of theirs that were like, that's fantastic. Is there any more? Nope, it's all gone. Shit. Yeah. Have to wait till you make it the next time. Yeah. But oh, if you guys like your variations from your craft brewer, breweries that are regional, you got to get in there and you got to buy it. Yes. And you got to tell them how much you like it. Yes. That'll make them make more. And then you buy more and you get your your homeboys and your homegirls to get it. And then they have enough to expand and then they can make it more often. And then and, you and can then have it whenever you want it. Can have it. Yes, and then you can have it whenever you want. Yeah. So. I, I enjoy metal a lot. Yeah. Um, um, also, it helps that they're good guys too. Yes. So before I finish this, I have to go ahead and finish the review. Well, I will see what I can find to put in the uh, description. There you're going to find all my other links, social media, merch, all that good stuff. I mean, you can even grab yourself a shirt like this. Um, now, if you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. Really appreciate it. Uh, let's Google that owns YouTube know this was a dope video. And also, if you go ahead and subscribe... Uh, I really appreciate that. And ring the bell, you'll get at least three videos a week. Um, love to talk to you guys down there in the comments. Let's chit chat. Now, let's get on to the thick of it. Uh, always the most important. Did you dig it? Yes. Yeah. It's really good. Would you have another? Yeah. I have nethers of these as often as possible. I like it. Um, this is actually one of my favorite beers of theirs. Uh -huh. um, it is a really good porter. I like it. Yeah. It's it's just a good it beer. It doesn't have the things that I don't like about a porter. Yeah. Um, and I'm a dark beer girl. This is kind of a light dark beer. I mean, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which I'm, I'm into that right now. Yeah. Um... Now, does it have seekability? Regional brewery, of course. Um, you know, if you're in Portland, Oregon watching this, you're going to have to find somebody in, 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 Memphis in, Mid, area. in the Memphis area, you know, down Mississippi, that you're going to have to find somebody yeah. to get you some. Um, just is. Uh, you have to come easy. <laughs> right. Now, uh, Six pack worthy. This is a six pack oh, worthy yeah. beer. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think mm -hmm. so. Now, um, on a scale of one to ten, one's the lowest, ten's the highest. It's definitely an eight. It's a nine. Wow. Hear me out on this. I've had this when it was hot as fuck outside. And it's just light enough that it was nice and refreshing. Okay. But I've had this when I was in a jacket until I got inside type thing. Mm -hmm. And even when it was cold outside, it had enough of that warming feeling. Yeah. Um, so this is truly a year-round porter. And a lot of porters, a lot of people don't treat them like year-rounds, you yeah. know. You tend to see in the winter, you see the, the more of the darker yeah. beers. But this one has enough mm -hmm. Christmas and lightness that yes. it's like you it. can drink this one year-round. Like and it. It, I don't feel like it's just me that will feel that way. No, it's not. So, uh, that's why it's, it's kind of like... the the everyday porter mm -hmm. and 
to make something that way is you no know, that that's kind of special yeah, I, I like it. Yeah, so. I'm, I dig it. I'm down. I'm down. Well, there you have it, folks. To your next beer adventure. Cheers. Cheers.